Hello and welcome. My name is Carl Jenkins and today I'm going to be talking about this S5 mistake that I made and I'm just pulling my hair out even thinking about it. So let's dive into the video and I'll explain exactly what happened. So the other day I was filming a wedding on the S5 and it looked beautiful. You know, it is a lovely sunny day and I wanted to get some nice slow motion shots. Normally, this wouldn't matter on a shoot or if you're shooting a project or you're not shooting people or activities or trying to make that, you know, documentary style happen. What I did is I set up the S and Q mode to film 60 frames a second slow motion so I could just flip back and forth so I'm not going into the menu and swapping it around. However, by doing this, what happened was that the audio doesn't record Record when you go into the S and Q mode. So what I ended up doing and happening is I missed a lot of audio for the wedding, you know, of people interacting, stuff happening in the environment, which you really need when you get into the edit to add that sound base and that soundscape to it. And especially for documentary or wedding style, you know, it is capturing the day unfold and you need to get that audio and then there's one shot, I think it's a confetti shot, and there's no audio on it, so there's no one like shouting and cheering. And this, oh, when I got into the edit and realized, oh, I just, I, there's nothing I could have done about it. I was screaming to myself. So that's why I'm making this video so you don't make that same mistake. So the only way to really fix it is by going into the menu and shooting 50 frames per second. So what I'd recommend is doing that and just shooting it all in 50 frames per second. And then you can either in post production, bring that frame rate back down, or you can just leave it and hope nobody notices. There is a program you can get called Flow Frames. I don't know how much it is, but that will take 24 frames or 25 frames per second of footage and interpret it using artificial intelligence and make it slow motion and add more frames on it. I have not tried it yet, I am going to try it, but that does sound another option so you can shoot it all in 25 frames per second and then it adds on later on in post-production, another stage if you want to slow stuff down. Can't stress this enough, please don't make the same mistakes I did and shoot in S and Q mode. It is fine when you're out and about shooting stuff with friends or you know, you're shooting Instagram reels or stuff like that where you can add it in later on but when you want to shoot documentary style you need to capture audio on the day and it unfolding I didn't I missed it so there we go we live and we learn though this is all a learning curve and about growing and developing our skills and I hope we all do this together as a collective and a community so we don't make the same mistakes again another option is to just not shoot slow motion and shoot 25 frames per second in the natural order it should be. You know, that's not fun. You know, slow motion B-roll's cool, isn't it? It's fun, you know, we enjoy watching it. We enjoy looking at it. We enjoy making it, which is the most important part. But I think there comes a point where you need to balance out what you need to film and what you need to get and who you're getting it for. That's what remember, you're not getting this for yourself. You're getting this for other people for a project. So make sure you know, you're giving them the deliverables that they want and they need, not just shooting 60 frames for the fun of it, shooting it because it is part of the delivery package you're selling your clients. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you don't make the same mistakes as me. And if you like this video and you've got an S5, hit that link up the top and there is a video there where I've named tips and tricks about this camera, which I think you'd really enjoy. So if you want to learn more about your S5, click on that video there. There's some tips and tricks in there that I think will help you out. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this information useful, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does help. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.